Mystery Dice 2.0. I like it. Tell us a bit about what you want to do. Thank you, Michael. Our fans want us to make all the things. Since this is the second Mystery Dice campaign, we have a really good head start towards that goal, but there's a lot more fun to be had. I've heard that Mystery Dice 1.0 had a 91% approval rating. Is that right? Yes, sir. It was a lot of fun. Not only did we make 50 new dice sets and seven weird stuff, we built an awesome community. And we want to keep that community going. Well, how about you tell our newcomers what Mystery Dice is? Then we'll address your returning community. Mystery Dice is a quest to make all the things. New designs, new patterns, new molds, new color arrangements, creative things, surefire hits, and some really off-the-wall oddball ideas. It's a chance for us to break the mold and then remake it, which sometimes happens literally. Will you be showing us the dice sets you're making? <laughs> Absolutely not. And that's the fun of it. See, we don't tell you what you're going to get. You find out when you open the box. This is your 18th Kickstarter, and your dice are very well known for their quality with third-party reviewers, testing them and concluding that they're near statistically perfect. Safe bet we can continue expecting that going forward? You sure can. Can you tell us what else to expect going forward? Perhaps at least addressing returning fans who might believe they already have enough dice? <laughs> well, you can never have enough dice, Michael. But what fans can expect this time is new. All the new. A lot of the machinations of my own mind, and also we have a lot of great suggestions from 1.0 backers that are just crying out to be made. There's going to be a lot of excitement on unboxing, and thus, lots of really good reasons to back again. What about weird stuff? The weird stuff approval rating was 84%, which isn't bad considering the expectations people had for them. But, if I may, are you planning anything to increase that percentage this time around? A fair question, and yes. Naturally, I can't tell you what designs we have been prototyping, but I can tell you that I have over 25 weird stuff ideas in the works, and many of them come, again, from backer suggestions. In fact, this time, I'm calling them weird-er stuff, and that's for a reason. So, no repeat designs? Of course not. In fact... I even promise no repeat molds. Actually, one of the designs that I have planned even... No. No. I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. Oh, our viewers understand, but are surely anxious to find out, just like I am. Finally, let's talk pricing. At the same price point, and still offering the potential for free shipping, should we be concerned about delays? I think with everything that we learned in 1.0, and the amazing partnerships developed in the process and the awesome community that we've built around Mystery Dice, I think that we've set up 2.0 for a much smoother ride. Any last thing you'd like to share before we go? Just a great big thank you to all of our returning fans and a great big welcome to folks just joining our community for the first time. I think you're going to like it here. Sounds like Mystery Dice 2.0 is about more than just dice. It's about the community. It sure is, Michael. It sure is. <laughs>